From warding off bad spirits to being used for medicine, the tea plant has many uses in Hawaii. It even has a road named after it. Kamakapili has more on tonight's Aloha Authentic. We all make use of our island roadways, but when was the last time you paid attention to their given names? Did you know you can learn more about Hawaii and our culture if you did? Well, our weekly Aloha Authentic segment, we highlight various streets across the islands so we can dig into those names and in turn, learn something new. This week, we learn of what we know as a canoe plant. In the Ahupua'a of Waikiki, which lies in the moku of Kona here on Oahu, lies a roadway that's named after the leaf of the tea plant. We're talking about Lai Road. After millions of years of the Hawaiian Islands being isolated and uninhabited, many plants found their own way here. But when the early Hawaiian settlers migrated to Hawaii, they brought certain plants in their canoes, nicknamed canoe plants. One of those plants were the tea, also known as ki. The word lai refers to the leaf of the tea plant. Prior to Western contact, only the green leaf tea plant grew throughout Hawaii. The other colors and varieties that are now seen across the islands have either been introduced or hybridized over the course of the last century. The lai has many uses. Because the leaf has the ability to retain heat, it's often harvested to wrap food for cooking. In a similar way, lai are used medicinally to help reduce fevers by placing the shiny side of the leaf directly on the forehead. Ceremonially, tea is heavily used. Priests wear lai to either symbolize their rank or their mana, their divine power. It is also said that the tea leaves help to ward off bad spirits, another reason to why it's used in ceremonies. The root of the tea is known to have been consumed both as an edible treat, but also as an alcoholic beverage known as okolehau. Did you know? Now you do.